I don't think any of us can deny that scrunch. Are we seeing that? Yeah. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I have a little mini review for you today, nothing crazy. Originally, I had no intention of reviewing the new Camo EOS collection, but Camo actually surprised me, sent a couple pieces my way, and since so many of you had questions on Instagram regarding this collection, I figured, you know what, let me hop on here real quick and break it down for you. So this Wednesday, August 10th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Camo's releasing their brand new EOS collection. Now, EOS, I'm trying to figure out what that stands for. I know my Canon camera says EOS ADD, which means electro optical system. I know the EOS lip balm too, I like that. And I'm pretty sure that EOS is a Greek goddess. So which one are you camo fitness? Are you a goddess, a camera, or a lip balm? Well, since there's a scrunch on these babies, I'm gonna go with goddess. <laughs> So anyways, this collection is just launching in leggings and shorts. I told you this is baby haul. I only have two colors here, but they are releasing five all day. We have a charcoal gray, black, which I have, maroon, chocolate brown, got that too. And it's really pretty darker teal color. I don't know the exact names of the colors. This is just what I'm gathering here looking at the pictures. With each Camo Fitness video that we do here on this channel, you guys are really responding better and better each time. It seems like a brand you guys wanna see regularly. And I don't blame you because they're known for being super affordable but maintaining a really good quality. And if you find this review super helpful and would like to support this channel, please do consider using my code Ashley at checkout. This lets Camo know I sent you. I also have a direct link that will do the same thing. This video is brought to you in part by Mantra Labs. If you guys have been keeping up with my socials, for the past couple months you would notice that Mantra Labs has made quite the appearance. And for good reason, I am obsessed with this company. Mantra Labs is a high quality supplement company. They specialize in products that are vegan, paleo, keto, gluten-free, soy-free, and sugar-free. And what I love about Mantra Labs is that they give me a real natural energy. A lot of their products are mostly vitamin based. A big one that's been helping out with my midday crashes is their Go. So this I like to take right in the middle of the day, right around 2 p.m. Actually, I just took it right before this video. It is now 3.13. Before taking Mantra Labs Go, I was about to go take a nap and or put off this video altogether, but I did not do that. I needed to show up for you guys, and thankfully, Mantra Labs was there for me. Drank my go, and now I have the energy to get through this video, so it's really helping me avoid my midday naps. You can buy them by the pack, so you can conveniently take them on the go with you, and they also do sell their products in tubs. Mantra's mission is mental health awareness, so proceeds go towards mental health hotlines and mental health research. So definitely check them out, I'll have them linked down below. Feel free to use my code AshleyGata25 to save 25% off of your first order. Before we get into trying these babies on, let's do an overview of what we're actually looking at here. Okay, I know what you're all thinking, and I think this is why you came to this video. This looks similar. But don't get it twisted, there are some differences here that are worth noting. Let's start off with the band. This seems like it's gonna be a fairly compressive band. And keep in mind, these shorts are in a size small. You know I love sizing up in tight fit shorts. But at first glance, this is not a three-tiered taper waistband. It's very squared off looking, right? So that leads me to believe that there's gonna be a little bit of a difference in the compression around the waistband. We also have a sewn in logo, which is always a plus, especially on Seamless. You just need it, man, you just do. No more printed logos. It's not, let's go without that from here on out, everybody. One of my gals actually DM'd me recently and said that Chrissy Chella's gonna be doing this on her effortless leggings and I cannot wait. Nice job on her active. We need more sewn in logos. You do have some ribbed paneling going around. A little breakup around the waistband. Real quick, I wanna talk about the paneling going down the sides of the legs. Camo Fitness says this is their anti-snag paneling, which is cool, because I know what they mean. You don't, when you're putting a plate up against you or a dumbbell scrapes next to you. What the f scrapes next to you. What the f You know what I mean when a dumbbell hits the side of your leg and you instantly look down and make sure your leggings are still intact, that sucks. This is actually a big reason I don't wear the Whitney Simmons to the gym, is because it's too brushed of a fabric and they're too delicate for me, I'm gonna f them up. So these feel heavy duty gym legging type of material. Again, the really nice paneling down the side makes it a little different 
than what we're used to in other leggings that are similar to this. If you look closely, the black does have a little bit of a moral breakup, believe it or not. So does the brown. So that's what we're looking at with these leggings and shorts. So let's go see how these hold up. Again, these are both in a size small. Let's hope for the best. Are you wondering where this sports bra is from? I sensed it through the screen. It's the new Buff Bunny. I can't say what it is yet, but you will know sooner than later. This video is coming up next. So definitely be sure you're subscribed. Whoa, 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 camo. This is exactly what I hoped it would be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To my surprise, the size small isn't terrible. I actually really like the compression in the waistband. It's there, you can feel it. But it's not overly compressive where I feel like my intestines are just getting crammed into each other. This is the right amount of compression and believe it or not, they're not terrible around the thighs. I've seen worse. Do I wish it was better? A little bit, yeah. I, I do need some let up here. I do feel like sizing up to a medium might not be good for me though. I do feel like this has so much potential of just being baggier around this area, I do. But let's talk about that scrunch. I am all for discreet scrunches and this is it. I really like that they came out with darker tones for this collection, not only for the season coming up, but because with this light weight of a legging, it's really nice to have darker tones to help with sheerness. I have a feeling this would be totally sheer if they were super light, powdery, soft, bright pastels, but because they're darker, the sheerness is intact. Even in the small, all I'm seeing in a deep squat is a little bit of white right around here on the cheeks. Nothing here where it counts. So your best friend in these leggings, pretty much any legging, I'm gonna go ahead and say that all I ever wear are nude panties. I'm still rocking and rolling with the Ebby undies. I love them so much. If you're looking for good seamless panties with no VPL, you can't see them even under the thinnest leggings like this and the Amplify, Ebby, check them out. So in terms of thickness, compared to Honor Active Scrunch, this is a hell of a lot thinner. This is more up the alley of Alpha Lee Amplify. I would say it's maybe ever so slightly thicker than Amplify, but they're so similar, but a hell of a lot thinner than Honor. I feel like they're two different animals. So if Alpha Lee's over here, Honor's over here, Camo is like right here. I'll have the inseam and all the details on the side here for you. I think they nailed it on the short length. For me, I don't like anything that's too close to the gooch. Now let's test roll up, shall we? Do some of this too while we're at it. I'm really testing these babies out. Woo! No, no, we're good, okay. It like rode up a little bit, but there's no rolling. So I do think these are overall very true to size. If you're in between, in between, maybe size up, if you prefer a little less compression. All right, shorts are two thumbs up. Now let's go ahead and try on those leggings. Okay, what are we looking like? The black feels different than the chocolate brown. Who knew I had a feeling? When I was holding it before, I felt it a little bit. This feels a lot thicker and less stretchy. Hold on a second. Now, I don't know if this is a color thing from black to brown or if this is a legging thing from leggings to shorts. So I'm not sure if leggings and shorts are different or if it's the color that's making it fit different, but without a doubt, ooh, yeah, wow, weird. I'm feeling a lot of snugness around the legs, but right around here feels less compressive. Interesting. This doesn't feel as lightweight of material as these shorts did. It's strange, the shorts are actually reminding me of Alpha Lee Amplify, but the leggings are reminding me of Honor Active Effortless. Crazy, as I'm squatting, a lot less stretchy. Like when, if these were the amplified leggings, these would be really stretchy and thin and lightweight. These are a little bit thicker and less stretchy. I mean, glutes are still popping, right babe? So I think it's safe to say if you're in between sizes for the black, I mean, this is tough because like I said, if you size up your compressions, there's just less compression around the waistband. And I feel like if I sized up, there would be not enough compression for me right around here. I wouldn't want any potential sliding. But if I were to size down, there's no way I'd be comfortable with wearing it around my legs for a long period of time, like actually working out in it. I just think it overall depends on the level of compression that you prefer. So right now I'm feeling like there's a really nice level of compression throughout this legging. The shorts feel less compressive, but that doesn't mean they're bad. I think it's all about preference, but so far I'm feeling higher compression in the leggings and more of a moderate in the shorts. 
Overall, I'd say these are both very true to size. So I would stick to your true size and you should be okay. And even in a small, the black is really squat proof. You really don't feel the scrunch when moving around. It's actually a very comfortable scrunch. I have a feeling that this is their upgrade when it came to their scrunch leggings because the other one that they have just looks like a panel. It looks like one of those scrunches that you just, you feel it like a string of dental floss. And because this is thicker and more dense than the Amplify, it's harder to smooth out in terms of the length. So check it out. It's got a little bit of bunching going on for me, but if I were to try to pull this up to get rid of the bunching down here and bring up the material, it doesn't quite smooth out like the Amplify does. So you're gonna get some bunching up by the groin area. Another reason why I think sticking to your true size is your best bet. This is really nice. Very natural, nice job that they did on these leggings and shorts. All right, so I don't know what the prices are gonna look like. I don't have access to that information. Now I know I only had a couple pieces to work with, but I still hope you found this review helpful in some way. Keep posting on stories. I'll wear these throughout the week. Let you know if anything changes up as they stretch out a little bit, but from my first impression, yeah, they're, they're very different. These black leggings compared to the chocolate shorts, different. So drop a comment, are you shopping this launch on the 10th? Let me know if you are and what you're looking to snag. Thank you again so much if you do use my code. Always be sure to let me know so I can personally thank you. Thank you all so much for watching. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. We've got a ton more exciting videos to come that you don't wanna miss out on. I love you guys so much and I'll catch you in my next video.